The LEGO Star Wars games, on average, are certified bangers, with games like LEGO Star Wars the video game and the original trilogy forming some of my earliest and fondest gaming memories. And with the release of the Skywalker Saga, my love for these games has been reignited. So I thought I'd do a video ranking the six LEGO Star Wars games because that sounds like just a good time. To be honest with you, there's no other reasoning. What other reasoning do you need? Now, a lot of these games have been refreshed in my memory. I recently replayed through LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, which is basically just a combination of LEGO Star Wars The Video Game and LEGO Star Wars 2 The Original Trilogy, which I vividly remember referring to as the original trilogy until I was 13 because I'm stupid. I also recently played through LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens and LEGO Star Wars 3 the Clone Wars, and those two were new enough experiences for me because I actually slept on those if you catch my drift. And of course I've done a full playthrough of the Skywalker Saga and I absolutely adore this game. And so with all that done it's finally time for me to rank every single LEGO Star Wars game because apparently that is what my life has come to. Though we won't be including either of these mobile games because LEGO Star Wars Battles has been discontinued and I don't even play mobile games anyway, and even if I did, I have a sneaky feeling they'd come dead last. Wait, why does Google think LEGO Indiana Jones is a Star Wars game? <laughs> Disclaimer. As a human being giving an opinion, I am naturally going to be very biased, shaped by my experiences with these games, as is kind of the point of the ranking. The opinions in this video may vary from yours, and that's okay. Feel free to submit your own list down in the comments. But what I do ask is people leave their shit-slinging contests to the political side of Twitter. Otherwise, I'm afraid I'll have to hijack Yoda's hover chair and fly it straight off a cliff. So behave, or Yoda gets it. So, let's begin. In sixth place, we have, surprise surprise, LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now, I only really got around to playing this game recently, and I probably wouldn't have done had Bram not forced me at gunpoint to do so for his hefty reviewing every licensed LEGO game video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, if you want to watch a video that's going to be significantly longer than this one. It's well worth the time, check it out. LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens is perhaps the only game on this list that I actually dislike. It's a bit of a bloated slog that was pushed out to cash in on the critical acclaim of the Force Awakens back in 2015, releasing in June the following year. This game crams itself with filler to blow tout a two hour story that was barely full of enough content to make a movie into a 15 hour experience that really just doesn't work. It's oversaturated with the same puzzles over and over again along with the same aspects thrown at you from all angles, and while that is kind of the promise of a Lego game back in the day, I was expecting a bit more creativity going into this game considering it was released in 2016. There's an absurd amount of steps in everything, so a minute in the movie takes 15 in this game for some reason, and you can't appreciate the collectathon aspect as you're too busy hoping that the game will just end. And through the oversaturation of obstacles, this game gets very tiresome very quickly when you realise what it's trying to do, and that is make a Force Awakens game that drags on for as long as possible. There's nothing wrong with a bit of repetition, it's unavoidable. However, this game becomes repetitive simply far too quickly. And while every now and then it surprises you with something new and fun, it's too quick to fall back into a state of numbing your brain. While I say all of that, I think it's fair to acknowledge that I'm not especially fond of the film that it's based on. I didn't mind it at first, I thought it was half decent, however when I saw how the trilogy was continued, my perspective on The Force Awakens soured with it. So let's just say on top of the filler, the backbone of the storytelling of LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens wasn't especially a saving grace for me, because I frankly didn't care about the movie that the game is based on. I don't want to say that this game is terrible because I don't think that's necessarily the case, I just think in the end it wasn't for me and so it became a bit of a boring slog. Which is disappointing when I enjoy every single other LEGO Star Wars game on this list. In fifth place we have got LEGO Star Wars 2 The Original Trilogy. Now I know what you're thinking, what the fuck, <laughs> why is it so high up? Now like I said I love every single game from this point onwards. The original trilogy is a brilliant LEGO Star Wars game, however unfortunately, due to the existence of the complete saga, it's for the most part obsolete. If I put it higher up on the list, I feel like the higher up of this list would be much more boring. But that doesn't subtract from the fact that I have very fond memories of this game. Playing couch co-op with my brother back in the day in this game was an absolute blast, and I've probably logged more hours in this LEGO Star Wars game in my life than perhaps any others on this list, because as a kid I'd sit down and play this game all of the time. 
and it does boast some positives over its addition to the complete saga as well. For example, in the Moss Eisley Cantina hub world, the open space outside is much bigger, so there's more space for people to kick off. Man, watching the senseless violence brings back memories. So, props to this game for being my coping strategy during my parents' divorce. Next up, in fourth place, we have LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars which I only actually got around to playing very recently. Star Wars The Clone Wars, the TV show, was fucking sick, so as you can imagine, I'm just chuffed that I can play as Ahsoka in a game. I've ranked this one higher than LEGO Star Wars 2 because it's about the Clone Wars, it's not about the films. It offers a different story for LEGO Star Wars to explore, and it also bridges the gap between the old style of LEGO Star Wars games and this newer style that we saw in The Force Awakens and most recently The Skywalker Saga. We can see the modernization of some of the gameplay. Granted, in this one it is a little scuffed, but it's nice to see the evolution of LEGO Star Wars. Off of that, the hub area in this game is not my favourite thing in the world, it's kind of cramped, however as you go you can unlock more areas and it does gradually get bigger, which is a nice reward for playing through the story and the other content. This game has a strange habit of lobbing hordes of enemies at you and throwing you in hefty battles. The controls can be a bit fiddly, and much like the TV show, any overarching narrative can be difficult to follow considering, for the most part, there probably isn't one. As the way I understand it, this is based on episodes throughout the earlier seasons of The Clone Wars as this game was released in 2011. And back then some of the episodes weren't even in chronological order, so as you can imagine, it can be a bit weird when the characters aren't speaking as that can't be communicated into the game. I also found the level design to be a touch on the confusing side because at times the game gives you no prompts whatsoever on what the fuck you're supposed to do next. So when you couple that with finicky controls, at times this can be something of a nightmare. But if you like smashing shit up into tiny studs and then collecting them, as is the point of most LEGO games, this game absolutely delivers. With massive ground battles that you can invest the studs that you collect in the mission into certain aspects such as soldiers or artillery. And basically checkpoint by checkpoint, absolutely obliterate your enemies in scuffed LEGO fashion. And isn't that just the LEGO spirit? Unfortunately, I can't boast a nostalgic connection to this game as I only played it 11 years after it released, but I can appreciate and enjoy the differences it brings to the table, and of course still has that crude classic LEGO sense of humour, and the characters mumble in this game, which is another positive. And as you can imagine, it took me until LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga to even fathom LEGO characters speaking rather than just sounding like they had a stroke, because I guess I'm just weird like that. Overall, LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars serves its purpose well, and it's always nice to see some different source material being used for a LEGO game, more so when it's source material that you actually like. You can also murder Jar Jar, if you want to, because he's in the game. Next up in the list we have the third place spot, which is going to LEGO Star Wars The Video Game from 2005. Unfortunately, just like the original trilogy, this one has been rendered obsolete mostly by the Complete Saga merging them both together. However, it does boast some features that the Complete Saga does not have. Dex's diner being one of them, and the other being Yoda's hover chair, which is just cool. Why did they remove it? <laughs> this was the first LEGO game, let alone LEGO Star Wars game, that I ever played. I think my parents took me and my brother when we were really young to some party somewhere or barbecue or something. It was only down the road, but we took the car anyway, because of course we did. Petrol was much cheaper back then. And we disappeared upstairs in this house, and with the neighbour's kids, we just played LEGO Star Wars, and that was my introduction to this game. I still have vivid memories of sitting in an attic or wherever the hell we were, playing through the raid on Theed Palace mission from The Phantom Menace. To this day, I still have no clue who the fuck's house we were even in, but I really didn't care. I was having so much fun, and it sold me on LEGO Star Wars. The game is based on the prequel trilogy, and to be honest with you, while I'm not the biggest fan of the movies, I don't think they're actually as bad as we knocked them for, besides from The Phantom Menace and Attack. Actually, yeah, they were, but when it came down to their delivery in LEGO form, it really just worked. And to this day, Yoda's hover chair is still the ultimate method of transport. So I've got a lot of appreciation for this game, especially considering it was my introduction to LEGO games on the whole, and what I wouldn't give to relive that chapter of my childhood. In second place, we have got LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, the latest entry into this long line of LEGO Star Wars games. Now this game is brilliant. It's like a modernised revival of the complete saga, including the new sequel trilogy, 
which sucks fundamental cock. This game boasts all nine main Star Wars movies recreated in a Lego storytelling format, many sizable world spaces full of side content, copious amounts of quality Lego game style piss taking, and completely overhauled gameplay to make for a much more modern feeling experience whilst staying true to that Lego Star Wars vibe. It's a little bit on the buggy and scuffed side, but it is a modern game and that is kind of the norm, not to excuse it, but it's been an absolute pleasure to play, explore and experience and hopefully I'll be able to elaborate further on my thoughts in a full review that I will do at some point. And being the most comprehensive Lego Star Wars game to date, it provides you with a massive amount of characters that you can explore this world space in and tell your own stories with. Almost like you're playing with Lego again as a small kid, because that's not a choking hazard. Unfortunately, the game doesn't have character customization because somebody at TT Games is a fucking monster, and this much beloved feature got cut, but at least you can play as a Rancor, which we discovered in co-op. That's nice. Oi, Grieve! The co-op is of course hilarious, and that is a positive to any LEGO game. This animation is so scuffed, by oh, the way. Wait, it's fucking sick! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just running along, loving life as fucking... <laughs> <laughs> through the waves! You're just changing out of a fucking camera angle. Where are you? Where am I even? Where's the fucking... That's the way. Oh it's just such a scuffed fucking, like, look at this, I'm just clipping through the waves. The game could probably benefit from some polish, and there are some other annoying aspects, such as Ray speaking on the main menu every single time you fire up the game, even if you skip the opening cutscene thing. You need someone to show me my place in all this. I've been exposed to this line 30 times, for the love of God, shut up! But on the whole, this modern reimagining of LEGO Star Wars slaps. And maybe in 15 years time, the kids of today will look back on this game as the game that made their childhood, just like the old LEGO Star Wars games did for many of us. And of course, the number one spot goes to the one and only LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Basically, LEGO Star Wars the video game and LEGO Star Wars 2 the original trilogy combined into one, the complete saga is just ground zero to so many memories. And because it's basically just those two games combined, it also takes on their memories. I can play this game for hours and hours on end even now and never grow tired of it. And it also delivers its game in a way that I prefer over even the Skywalker Saga. I prefer the simplistic six level approach to each episode. I know when I'm playing a level and I know when I'm in a hub area and I know the difference. Because the game doesn't use voice acting, it has to use environmental and observational comedy along with body cues, which I think is a much more creative way to deliver humour. And isn't that the entire point of a LEGO game? To be creative? This game even has character customization, which made for plenty of laughs. Free playing as a droid with an afro is literally what this game was built for, and the co-op is just hours on end of non-stop laughter. It does not matter what you're doing, the shithousery is through the roof, and it doesn't matter if the Skywalker Saga is technically the better game, I have 15 years worth of connection to this hilarious clusterfuck. Though they did remove Yoda's hover chair which is really weird. This is my favourite LEGO Star Wars game and perhaps one of my favourite games for the sole reason that it reminds me of why I love playing video games. It's about fucking around, be that by yourself or with friends. I realised that came out wrong. <laughs> Or did it? I love this game because at no point is it not fun, and that is something that I can rarely say about video games, and that is why to me, for the time being at the very least, this is my number one LEGO Star Wars game. And there you have it, that is my LEGO Star Wars game ranking video. What are your thoughts? Do you agree with the list? Do you disagree? Do you have aggressive and harmful thoughts towards me? Let me know in the comments. In the end of the day, if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you share the love that I do for these games, and isn't that common interest all that matters in the end of the day? So, thank you all for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, that would be super fantastic. I know it's been a bit LEGO Star Wars heavy content wise at the moment, but I have a few content ideas for some other games that I'd like to get done this month, so hopefully it won't be that way forever. Anyway, with any luck, I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point, but until next time, take care and goodbye. Ah!